What's up, YouTube? It's Fitzbro, and I hope you are excited to dig into the New Mexico Civilization for Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. Now, this will be going live on December the 1st for everyone to play, but right now I've got a little preview access, so I'm going to be making a few videos to showcase some of the new mechanics with the civilization. You can pre-order the DLC on the Steam or Microsoft Store and I am going to be doing a giveaway on my Twitch channel. So make sure you are following that. I will be making the announcement in the Discord when I do that giveaway. And giveaways are done through the Discord when I am live uh, on Twitch uh, doing the giveaway. So I'll leave links down in the description if you want to get your hands on those giveaway codes. But let's dig into these age up options. Okay, so this is... Going from age one to age two, you see we have five different options here. A lot of these mechanics are similar to uh, the United States civilizations where you have the different federal cards you get as you go through each of the ages. Now, if you're not too familiar with the federal cards, you have your traditional cards. That would be, uh, let me unpause it. There we go. Uh, here, one, two, three, and four. You can have a total of 21 cards in your base deck. And as you go through the ages, your federal cards will be added here. So it'll add two of these, each of the ages that you go up. Um, now there's also, you can revolt in second, third, fourth. Uh, in all those ages, you can do a revolution, which will give you a whole new set of cards. Um, so a ton of cards to dig into with the sieve, but we're just going to be going through the standard ones you get as you um, age up. Okay, from left to right. For Chiapas, as you can see, all these, they do give you one military wagon. You put down a stable, you can put down uh, a barracks, whatever you want there. The federal cards that Chiapas gives you. Ships four Maya Hulken uh, Javelineers for each Hacienda you have constructed. Um, so this is a card you would ship in the next age. will allow you to get uh, four Maya Hulken Javelineers for each Hacienda you have constructed. So I don't know, early game, probably not making too many Haciendas. They're rather expensive, 600 wood. So I'm not sure if this is really a card that's going to be very useful just because it's pretty expensive to have multiple of these until really late game. And I'm not sure if a few units is worth a card there. All existing and newly constructed Haciendas spawn Maya crops containing 350 food. So this would make it so it gives you 350 food. A new one would just give you 350 food, but you have to... You know, compare this to, you know, could you just send the resource shipment instead? So pretty unimpressed by the Chiapas age up option here. Okay. Um, over here for Durango, you can get a ship's one Hacienda wagon. Haciendas gain a ranged attack when villagers are garrisoned inside them. Um, now, just in case you're not sure what a Hacienda is, um, it is this building you were able to construct with your villager um, right here. And you build this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this down. There we go. Come on. You got to get the bison out of the way. Eventually they'll move. There we go. I must not have put it in right. There we go. Okay. So the Asian that you're able to task, uh, up to 20 gatherers. Um, including villagers, but also livestock. You can make it so over time it'll spawn cows. In the third age, you can make it so it spawns settlers, and you can have whatever working on there working to generate trickle rates of food or gold. So just a quick overview. I'll do a separate video on this, but just want to make sure you knew what the Hacienda was. It's this unique uh, unit you have, uh, building you have as Mexico for use for generating different type of resources or spawning things. Okay, back into the age ups. So uh, this one will send you an Asian wagon and makes it so they can attack when villagers are garrisoned inside them. So could be useful. Um, arrives fast, deposits 350 coin, and exchanges all your current wood for 50% more coin. So I could see this maybe being useful for a tree scenario, but unlikely to really work this into many rush decks. I can't really imagine uh, even wanting to trade uh, my wood for coin, but you can double down on it. You know, something you can consider. But so those are the first two options. Uh, Michoacan. Uh, gives you the Colegio de San Nicolas, uh, ships tomes of 500 XP, improves the line of sight of all units and buildings, and temporarily reveals the position of your enemies. So a way to just scout your enemies out, get some 500 XP, get that next shipment in. Um, but I think this is more would be one maybe you could possibly use on a water map. This will send uh, two dock wagons, 
ships an additional fishing boat for each shipment sent so far this game. So if you sent three or four shipments, it'll show, send you two dock wagons and four fishing boats. So a nice way to get a boom going uh, in the second or third age or send this later in the game and you could have a bunch of fishing boats and two docks and suddenly be able to do a fish boom. Maybe something that could be useful. Okay, next one. Now these two are the two that I actually recommend, the ones that I have been using in my experimentation so far. The first one, uh, Kirotero, uh, has the Arise Fast, your next federal state grants us reward twice. Next barracks, barracks is upgrade is free. So the way I've been using this is the next age, you'll see there's options to age up with 500 wood or 500 gold for perks. And this will make it so if you sent this, uh, you will get 1,000. So it's essentially, we'll double that, uh, that whatever that's going to be. Now you could send this later on the game, doesn't matter. But if you send it like going in the third age, you'll double that resource and it makes it so the first barracks upgrade is free. So getting those guys up to veteran, this could be a very valuable card. Also sends fast. So if you have a bunch of shipments queued up, it's easy just to slip that one in there, right? As you age. Uh, ships one Asiana wagon and enables Asianas to support 20 population. So I've actually used this with revolu uh, revolting in the uh, in the second or third age. So you can send this. I'm already usually building one Asianda. You send one Asianda in the first age, put a second one down. You're going to have 40 population. Don't have to worry about spending wood on houses. Um, and so I think this actually pairs nicely with some revolution options to support uh, that pop space with your Asiendas. Okay, so that's one option. And then you have uh, Tlaxcala. And you, that gives you uh, ships one native embassy travail enables a selection of Jesuit and Mesoamerican features at your native embassy in towns there. This is also a very strong one, uh, particularly getting those Jesuit economic upgrades um, for uh, your villagers is, is going to be really, really useful. Um, Tlaxcala uh, textiles ships three sellers for each Asina you have constructed. So if you have two, it'd be six sellers. If you have one, you have three sellers. I'm not sure if this is extremely powerful, Unless you really plan on making a ton of Asinas, but I don't think there's a huge advantage to like just making a bunch of them early on if you don't have uh, units to really work them and get the value from them. So honestly, I think this might be my favorite, uh, followed by this, or I think it kind of depends on your game plan because this is also really strong. So that's for going into the second age. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go put the uh, Tlaxcala here just so I can show you. Okay. Um, so now we are in the next age. Let's look what options are for going to the third age. Now you see uh, we have all different options uh, as far as the cards you're going to get uh, for each of the uh, different uh, federal cards you choose. Okay, so you see we have 500 wood, 500 wood, one privateer. This is obviously the water one. 500 coin, 500 coins. So if you send that one card I mentioned, this is what I was talking about. You could double this, um, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, which and that works nice for a fast industrial, right? If you go up with, you know, this and you set that one card, uh, you could have it so you have a thousand coin right on age up. That would really help you get into a fast industrial if you wanted to. Okay, here we go. Sonora ships eight quatreros and enables them to uh, gather food from animals. Okay, so those are the lasso, a unique cavalry for Mexico. Uh, they have a charged lasso effect that does a range snare essentially, but you can also use them to gather food from animals. And then Sonora Valleys, villagers gather from all natural resources and livestock faster. So a little boost. boost. It doesn't tell you the exact percentage. I'd have to look into that. Um, but this is kind of an eco economic option you can go with. Um, next one, we have uh, Empresarios, ships one Asienda wagon and improved seller spawn rates. I think it's by like, I think it's like 10%. I'd have to double check, but I know it's pretty nice. I think this could be used because that's a 600 value shipment for that Hacienda, and then of course, improving if you're trying to do some kind of villager boom with them, I think could be useful, but maybe, I don't know if that's enough value for a third age card, depends. And then the inspiring flag can be replanted almost immediately and boost the work rate of military buildings by an additional 25%. I don't know. I don't find myself like even when I was playing USA one to replant the flag all the time, um, but maybe this could be really cool. Uh, it, it kind of, I don't know. It'd have to do some experimentation, but that's what the the options are. Don't love these two ones. Then we have our water option. Ships 16 deer and one large shoal of fish. So it gives you a water and land shipment. So this is a ton of food. It gives you a fish shipment, which is really cool, and gives you 16 deer. Um, and, of course, one privateer. And then the next one, we have uh, San Luis Patriots. 
ships an additional Gianco for each shipment you have sent so far this game. So Gianco is the uh, the heavy cavalry unit you have, and it makes them so they'll they'll train slightly faster. So maybe late on the game, right? This H three will send you a, a, a number of these. It'll be a, an okay shipment. Uh, but then this one, I think this is my favorite shipment. Uh, enables your general to construct field hospitals. So your general, is your explorer, for free. Soldados gain 10% HP and may be deployed from field hospitals. So you can build these field hospitals for free with your general. You can train soldados out of the field hospitals and they get a 10% boost of HP. So like that's a ton of effects. Um, that's your heavy infantry unit. I think that's like got to be one of the best options here. So really cool. I really like this one. And lastly, Tabasco upgrades uh, Saltadores to veteran status, ships an additional Saltador for each shipment. Okay, so it gets that veteran in, gives you some more. Um, I am actually don't remember exactly what unit that is. Actually, I think this is the skir your skirmisher unit, if I'm not mistaken. Let me, let me build a barracks real quick, just to remind myself. I believe that is what it's called. It's also Saltador. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so yeah, that's your... Uh, your, your skirmisher unit is going to be trained as early as the second age. Um, and it also has stealth options, which is uh, pretty cool. Okay. So uh, back into the town center here. Uh, so, yes. Uh, upgrades of veteran status. And then the last one. Arise fast. Villagers gather resources from Asiana's 250% faster for 60 seconds. Like, I'm sure that should be a good boost of res, but that sounds a little crazy. Maybe there's some crazy strat where you put, build a bunch of Asianas, throw the villagers on there. I guess you can't even build, don't even need to build a bunch of them because they hold 20 each. I know you can put livestock on there um, and then you get a quick boom. But honestly, I feel like this is my go-to uh, best Egypt option for Mexico just because of this card right here. So San Luis uh, Pot Potosi. I hope I said that right. Okay, here we go. Let's go up to the next age. Okay, now our H4 options. So for H4, from a left to right, let's go through this. We have arrives fast, ships one fort wagon, and allows a militia man to be called from outposts and forts. Um, I've used this when I was turtling up because I just wanted to get a fort out. If I figured it was cool to have a, a fort, uh, you know, in the fort and we have some extra options. And then this one grants a steady trickle of wood. Villagers gather wood from faster, and trees last longer. On um, these. Two and four Giancos. Uh, and then we have ships three prospector wagons. Ships two thereafter. It's because it's infinite. So the first time will be three and then it'll be two. Um, so gold. Ships three additional insurgents. Uh, insurgentes for each shipment you have sent so far this game. So this could be really late late game. You can uh, get a bunch of insurgentes. But they are w rather weak units. I don't think this is extremely valuable. Um, don't really like love either of these options, to be honest. Okay, then we have two sloops. Uh, all dock improvements become free. This could be pretty valuable, but take longer to be researched. Okay, so it's a give or take there. Uh, waterway cards, which deliver only crates, the cords of 700 wood, may now be sent from the home city without costing a shipment, but take longer to arrive. Holy cow, I have not tested this one yet. This sounds kind of crazy. So you can just send crates for free without needing a, a shipment? You can just keep sending these? Or what is it? Without costing a shipment, but now they just take longer to arrive. That sounds really strong. We're going to have to see this one in action. I might age up with this just to see uh, see it move there. Because that sounds pretty cool. Um, now we're over here. We have uh, Albayo L Technologies. All technologies available for the Hacienda are now free and research instantly. Hmm. There's a few in there that could be useful, but it's a card, a late four card. I don't know. Ships one cathedral wagon. Cathedrals generate experience at a much faster rate. Seems a little bit underwhelming. Seems okay, like if this was earlier on, but late game, I don't know. And lastly, ships one additional general. Native embassies gain a ranged attack like a war hut. They was entrained champion native jaguar warriors and eagle warriors. Oh man, you know what? Eagle Warriors are one of the best units in the game, I, th I think. And being able to train these uh, in addition to your other unit comp, I think this has to be one of the one of the best, probably. Um, so I think I would probably recommend this one. There's maybe a few options. Rather underwhelming in general for this age, but I want to see how this one works. This sounds kind of crazy. 
Uh, okay, send this. Okay, now let me turn off speed always. Wins. Okay, and let's see if I send a crate shipment. It's still. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to send this shit. Hold on. I got to send this first, right? Okay. We're going to have to send this shipment first. Now let's do. Okay. So now let's see if we can just start sending these. Maybe I misunderstood. Cards which deliver only crates may now be sent from the home city without costing a shipment, but take longer to arrive. Okay, so maybe you have to have an initial shipment available before you do this. It does look like it takes a long time. So I'm assuming this is not going to cost us. I guess this should work, right? Look at that. But here's what I wonder. You've got infinite crate cards. You can just always just have these queued up. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that could be viable. Obviously, it slows down your momentum. Late game, you want to be sending those shipments. But... I'm, I'm actually wondering if it works on like crate, like infinite crate shipments. I don't know if they have any infinite crates available. I'd have to go back and look at the home city, but an interesting one nonetheless. Okay. And lastly, H5 options. Now you'll want to go back and look at all the revolutions because each of those revolutions are going to have different cards. They're going to be unique as well. Okay. So you get 1500 wood for each of these. Now imagine if you use that one card I told you from the beginning, like you could have 3000 wood with this. If this was double, right? 3000 wood, two shipments. Uh, one of this was sent, would this send two fort wagons and build them in? I wonder, cause it says it gives two of the perks, right? I wonder if it would give you two forts and plus two build limit. Hmm. Would be interesting to try that. Um, okay. Now, inspiring flags gain a much wider area effect, improves damage by a greater rate. That could be good. Zabba technology be research at the native embassy. Sounds pretty solid. Uh, one additional semi fan cow for each shipment you've sent. Villagers gather coin for us units faster. Doesn't seem wildly awesome. I think I might be able to like this one better, but this could be a good card. In case this will give you a shipment. All units have more hit points. Padre healing speed increase. I mean, all units having more hit points is certainly good. Uh, ships a powerful army of two heavy cannons. Fiend Soldados and ten Yankos. Uh, two heavy cannons. Fisadas and Sounds good on the surface, but an age five, I don't know how powerful just a unit shipment is going to be. I'm just because it's so expensive to get there. Fort Wagon and Build Limit. Forts have more range and become able to attack other bodies buildings hmm interesting so you can do like a fort create maybe i don't know how much damage wonder how much damage they do the buildings forts train units and research technologies much faster i just would like to try this one uh, i mean this is just like you put down a bunch of forts train all your units out of it apparently you can attack you have extra forts could be really cool uh all infantry and cavalry fighting near forts have more attack and hit points Interesting. I wonder if this stacks with like your inspiration flag. Buildings have more hit points, are built faster, and grant coin upon being built instead of experience. So obviously this is probably going to depend on your style and what's going on late game. Um, I feel like honestly, this might be my favorite eco-wise, because inspiring flags have a much wider area effect and improves damage by a greater rate. So like you can talk about the buff of this, right? But this only be by a fort. You can put these flags anywhere, and it's going to give you the uh, upgrades from the Zapotec. Um, I think this would be fun. These two would be fun to experiment around. I don't always love to spam. I mean, I've never really spammed forts a lot. So maybe if that's your style, you might like these, but, uh, I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, and I think if I would love to see this paired with the card and make double to get, you know, get three K wood with the shipment or see if these all double too. Uh, but anyways, those are all of your age of options for Mexico. Uh, I hope this was a, a, a nice explanation for you to go through. And of course you'll get your hands on this on December 1st. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you're really wanting to see from this media preview. I can try my best to maybe make a video. Of course I am balancing Age Empires 4 and Age Empires 3 content on the channel. Um, but, uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.